Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, professor of medicine at the University of Arizona in the United States and also the editor-in-chief of the American Journal of Medicine. I'm going to be presenting a series of 14 lectures which are an introduction to cardiology. I hope none of you believe that you will be expert cardiologists at the end of listening to these 14, but I do believe that you will have a much greater understanding of cardiology. You will understand the various factors that lead to heart disease. You will understand how we make the diagnosis of heart disease, and you will understand the various therapies that we have at our uh, hands, in our hands that we can use uh, in order to help the patient with heart disease. So let's start with something very basic. Let's start with the anatomy of the heart and the blood vessels. Now, many of you, of course, receive hearts uh, when you receive letters from friends or, or close, uh, uh, intimate uh, uh, relations. Uh, at Valentine's Day, we see the heart, of course, the, the heart shape. Actually, the heart doesn't look anything like that. That's just a symbol for the heart. In fact, what you see here in this little diagram is a little bit more what the heart looks like. The heart is conical in shape with a rounded point, not a sharp point. Um, and of course, uh, it is a pump. It's a muscle pump that keeps the circulation continuously going in a circle. So uh, what happens, of course, I think everybody knows is the heart pumps the blood out full of oxygen and nutrients to the cells throughout the body, and then waste products are given to the blood. The blood returns to the, to the lungs, a deep blue, and is then reoxygenated, gets oxygen again, and pumped out to the body. There's a continuous circle going on uh, of the circulation. Here's a diagram that shows you how the heart lies in the chest. Notice that it's not directly in the center of the chest. In fact, it's slightly to the left. In this view, of course, it looks like it's to the right, but if you were standing behind this person, um, where the heart bulges out would be the left. And you can see four points are marked on this skeleton uh, with, the, with the heart drawn behind it, behind the ribs, of course, and the breastbone, which we call the sternum. You can see that there are four heart valves, and the points that are, that are marked here are the places where we listen with our stethoscope when we want to hear that particular valve. So, and we're going to go over the names of the valves and where they're located, but you, just for introduction, you can see that they're the aortic valve, the pulmonic valve, the tricuspid valve, and the mitral valve. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.